Well, good day. Derby Jack here. I have not been on for a while. I have not been doing too well, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not here for that. I want to read something which we've heard so many different times as Christians. And um, But let me just start from 15, um, which is uh, uh, 2 Timothy 3.15. And that from your, a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Well, you know, they just recently had this debate between Trump and Kamala or Kamola or whatever her name is, Canola, I don't know. I, I don't care either way about what was said in the debate, really. I, I do know that for what I've <clears throat> seen snippets on and other people talk about it and stuff I, I i seen enough to know you know i mean you know trump was being trump and kamala was being whatever she is another chameleon a laughing hyena you know uh what possibility of being fed things in her ear what uh, words or whatever it, 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 to me though the pinnacle of what i seen was this thing, and I, 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 I really been waiting for a circumstance to pop up to where people start recognizing this thing about fact checkers. Okay, this is this is what has been, you know, basic, you know, in the last couple years. You see it on the news network. You see it. It's been it's been fact checked. You know, it's been proof by the fact checkers. I have a question. Who are these magical fact checkers? Are they put away in a special room somewhere? Do you only pull them out when, you know, are they that knowledgeable? Why is it that we can never see their faces? We don't know who they are. You say a fact checker for ABC News, or a fact checker for CNN, or a fact checker for Fox Network. You all have your own fact checkers. Well, let me ask you something. If it was the same circumstance, but you got a fact checker for the one side and you got a fact checker on the other side, and they both have different different ways of looking at it or different conclusions through their fact checking, who was the actual upper handed fact checker? If this fact checker is saying something negative, but this fact checker is saying something positive about one side or what have you, even the then then who's right and who's wrong? What fact checker is more uh, 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 knowledgeable and what fact checker should you be listening to? My question is, you all sit here and you hear the mantras. It was fact checked. You know, they had a fact checker supposedly right there and then. They, well, a manager of the street said that never happened with something about where Trump was saying that, you know, migrants are coming in need. Look, I'll vouch for that. I'm not a Trump supporter, but I remember back in, um, what was it, back in the early 90s, I lived in Florida, and they had the Haitians come in on the boats. Now, I had, a, I had worked in a restaurant, seafood restaurant. We had one of these Haitians come in. He was a pot scrubber. And there was geese up and down the little, you know, the quarries, you know, the, the, the little um, uh, waterways that were up in Fort Lauderdale, down in Fort Lauderdale, Pompano Beach, that's where I worked, where I lived there. And, 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 and this guy one day, it was a Sunday, we're working, and, and, and we're hearing this noise in the back. He apparently, and we hear this chopping. He took an ax, he had gotten, he took it, he wanted to cook the goose. Manager comes out like, what the hell? It's, it, it, these geese were protected by the Haitians do that. That's their culture. So I'm not saying yay or nay whether it did happen, but I do know it does. I do know it is in their culture. And if they are Haitian, I know about that. I've seen it. So I, I want to, reason I wanted to bring this is that if I were to say, Everything in the world needs to be fact-checked. I'm going to go to the fact-checking source, and that's God's Word. There is nobody going to tell me from television that they got a fact-checker is going to tell me right then and there that they fact-checked it 
they, they found that it's false or they found that it is or it isn't or what have you. And, 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 but I don't know who the hell they are. And here's the thing. You should be thinking the same exact way. You shouldn't, you and your friends or your family shouldn't be sitting in front of that TV and expect, you know, they all say the same thing about what you watch on YouTube and what you see on the internet, right? It's the same thing. It's actually more dangerous to watch the programming on television than it is on on, on, on here because there's so many different outlets you can go and it's dangerous don't get me wrong but to blindly sit there see you can sit here and you can choose what you want to watch here but when you go and watch your evening news you're sitting there and they're just giving you what they consider is news and a good percentage of it isn't even news any longer what you're getting is not only the fact-checking bullcrap but you're also getting a good percentage, a good 80% is monologue. A good 80% is nothing more than commentary. So what you're getting on a news organization is everybody's commentary. Then when they do give you an expert, it's a one-sided expert who knows only, only the facts according to that side. But then they may bring you another fact checker from the other side who knows the facts from his point of view. Who's the major fact checker here? See, this is what you all have got to start thinking in your family. If your family is in the left and right paradigm, I'm not even getting into the voting crap. I'm not getting into all that crap. I'm just stating that you got to start and you got to start from what you're allowing to be your authoritative word. This is my authoritative word. This is what the word tells me. All scripture. All scripture. It doesn't give me some scripture. It doesn't give me a, 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 a handful of scripture. It doesn't tell me fact checked. No, it says all scripture. That's all I need to know is all. If it comes from God's word and God says all then guess what? It's all. It's all or nothing. You guys are all willing to vote for the lesser evil. I've already went through this before. And y'all hate me for it. Because I'm telling you, it doesn't matter whether you vote for Kamala or Kamala or whatever her canola, whatever her name is, or whether you vote for Trump. You are getting the lesser or evil of what you think is the lesser evil and God has nothing to do with what your vote is that's why I always say stop bringing God into your voting system stop blaming God for Trump stop stop praying to God for Trump because that's that's sacrilege what you should be praying for is your life you should be praying for your everlasting life. We're in the end times. You're still, you're still coexisting in the world. I'm trying to get out of it. I don't want to be, I mean, I'm not, don't get, I don't want to say that the wrong way. I don't want to be part of the system. I don't want to have to deal with it all. You guys are blindly going to your slaughter. I have already gone through my fact checking. All scripture is given to if, by inspiration of God. That's all I need to know. He's already proven himself. Has who is who is your fact checker? Have they ever are they willing to die on a cross for you to say that everything that they say and what comes out of their mouth is truth? Would they be willing to put their life on the line to say that? Everything that they fact-checked is actually accurate and truthful. Would they be willing to put their honor on the line to tell you that the facts that they checked are actually truthful and actually have been factually checked for accuracy? If they have the balls to be able to come and tell you that because they won't, they will never show their fact-checker they will always be that, just what it is. No different than what we're learning about the internet now, about bots. A good percentage of your bots are the people you argue with. A good percentage of your bots are the people who put things in underneath your videos. A good percentage of them. 
a good percentage of your audience are bots. A good percentage of my audience are good, I hope, and maybe there's bots there in my, in my ministry channel. I don't know. But what I'm saying is, we all have bots. Okay? And, and, and the thing of it is, even the bots are more authoritative to you Christians than God's Word is. See, it says here that all Scripture, all Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable. Pro when you hear somebody on television say, it was fact-checked, what profit is that to you? Have you ever thought of what profit it is to them to say a certain thing? To, to mold a certain narrative? To, to tell you that this is fact-checked by an actual authoritative fact-checker that you have no knowledge of, you don't know where they went to school, if they went to school, if they're actually real, or if it is a programmed bot. You don't know. But, but, they front it with the word, what? Fact-checker. As if that is authoritative. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. Well, it already tells us what it's profitable for, for reproof. That, that's my check right there for reproof. If I'm wrong, then I go to God's word. If God spiritually brings something out to me and I'm wrong, then, then I, have, I, am, I have already been proof that I got fact checked right there and then, spiritually. I know who the fact checker is. But you don't when you watch your CNN, your Fox network. You know. So all scripture is given by inspiration of God is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction. For correction. So if you're wrong, you're being corrected, right? Uh, for, cor for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. So now, you get what the Word says, and you're good to go. But you watch your television, you watch your CNN, you watch your Fox, you got your fact checkers, and they just told you through the fact check that Trump was wrong, and, and, and but, you know, that isn't that something? They, they, the fact checkers were right there, ready. They didn't have to dig too far, did they? To get the right fact checker. Yeah. So, city manager. Do we know who that was? Why isn't it the mayor? It's a big question. I mean, it, 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 is there a bunch of Haitians or a bunch of people running around eating dogs and cats off the street, walking in the parks and, you know, killing ducks and cooking them right there in the park? I mean, I don't know. But it's a question that, you know, you just can't glaze over and say, well, the fact checker and the, the guy down there says it didn't happen. Boy, that was quick. So that's what I'm trying to get you all to understand. As you're watching this comedy show continue, I hate to tell you people who are voters, that's exactly what you got is Barnum and Bailey Circus. That's about all it's about worth. There ain't no ifs, ands, buts about it. I wouldn't vote on either side. Both sides are a bunch of shams. Both sides are a bunch of idiots. I have no use for either side. You can take the federal government, just do what you're supposed to do, Pay, uh, you know, whatever taxes we're supposed to get in, properly use the taxes. Stop giving the money away. Stop stop propping up other countries when this country needs a border. Stop bringing in a bunch of illegals that are going to take our lives. But then again, y'all would need to step down and you all have to turn yourselves in because you're the propagators, you people in government. And that goes from both sides. Fact checked by the word of God. How can I say it? Let's go into, Re if I have to, I'm not going to, but if we went into Revelation, we already see where we are. If you want to believe it, you don't want to believe it, then you're an a-hole. <laughs> that's, 
That's coming from Derby. You're an a-hole. Because there's no other way of looking at it. Okay? You know, you either are in, when it, all in, when it comes to God and His Word. Or you, you want to go with the fact checkers of the world. That's what's more important than God's Word. That's what's more important. Who's in office than God's Word? You're more, you're more, under, you're more believing that when Trump says the, uh, we're going to bring the old days back. You think it's about you. He's talking about the old ones. They, they want to resurrect their old dead bones. They want to come up and they want to be leadership. They want to come up and show themselves. We're talking about the old ones. We're talking about demon possessed people. That that's what you're all looking at. So anyway. I needed to say that I haven't come out in a while and um, that's pretty much it so pray for those people that need to be prayed for um, recognize the times you're in look at the world around you things are getting dark it ain't getting any better and it ain't gonna get any better doesn't matter who's in office okay that's not what God's Word says and you all got to stop denying God and his word and stop listening to all those worthless people who call themselves and you don't even know and never see their faces fact-checking. It's a, it's a sham. It's like a Ponzi scheme. Like I said, if it isn't some fool who's trying to give you his two cents about what he thinks he knows, then, then it's a bot. Okay, it's an AI-generated answer. So, yeah, that's where they're at. And if you've fallen for it, and continue falling for it, that's up to you. You can fact check yourself to death if you want. So anyway, love you all. Derby Jack out. See you all on the other side.